Hello everyone. Today our focal point is to study the differences between countable and uncountable nouns in English. To warm up these concepts, I would like you to take a few minutes to be conscious about this subject topic and to answer the following questions. First, what are the differences between countable and uncountable nouns in English? Second, could you write any examples of countable and uncountable nouns in context? And third, I would like you to consider the differences in meaning between little and a little versus few and a few. Okay, let's study now the differences between countable and uncountable nouns in English. The first difference is that countable nouns can be counted. So we could say an apple, two, three apples, few computers, and for instance, many students. On the other hand, uncountable nouns cannot be counted. So we will never be able to say something like a cheese or two cheese. Okay, this is incorrect. On the other hand, we could say the cheese, if it refers to something specific, or nothing, if we're talking about cheese in a very general context. If we also consider the noun sugar, instead of few, which is used for countable nouns, we will say here little sugar, and we will not say many petrol, because many is only used for countable nouns, but instead we could say much petrol, okay? So the first difference, as we were saying, is that countable nouns can be counted, and countable nouns cannot be counted. And the second difference is that countable nouns can be used with verbs in the singular and the plural forms. That is, that we can say an apple is, or two apples are, or few computers and many students are. Okay? We're using the verb to be here as a target example verb. Okay? On the other hand, uncountable nouns can only be used with singular verb forms. Okay? That means that we can only say cheese is little sugar is or much petrol is. Okay? Let's focus now on the differences between little and a little for uncountable nouns versus few and a few for countable nouns. Okay, let's study these four examples. Number one, Peter speaks a little English, so he will understand you okay. A little here has a positive meaning and it means some English. Situation number two, Peter speaks little English, so he may not understand you well. Little here, on the other hand, is also used with an uncountable noun, being English here, but it has a negative meaning, which implies not much English. Okay? Situation number three. Listen, I have a few things to tell you. 
If we look into a few here, again, a few has a positive implication here, and it means some things to tell you, being used with the countable noun things. And situation number four includes few children eat vegetables nowadays. Few, again here, has a negative connotation and it means not many children eat vegetables nowadays. So, remember that a little and little are both used with uncountable nouns, but a little means some, and little implies not much. On the other hand, a few and few can be used with countable nouns, and again, a few means some, and few without the A implies not many. We are now finishing this presentation and you should be able to distinguish the differences between countable and uncountable nouns and also the differences between little and a little versus few and a few. Please be sure to develop some further practical work by downloading the activities presented on Prometeo to enhance your independent learning skills. Thank you very much for your attention once again and have a nice day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.